Good morning folks. I thought some of you might be interested in seeing a couple of the water tanks that we have on the property. These, there's five all together. These are the, the centre two, which are mainly for bushfires. Hopefully we won't have to use them. But uh, there's one lower down on the property. If I can see from here, if I can spot it. Yes, you can see it. Where are we? You can see it down there. You see a little bit of green. Okay. And there's these two. And there's two further up the property at the top of the property the lower one behind me the lower one when necessary pushes the water up the hill and fills the tank the two at the back I'll use uh, for the garden mainly but these two where I'm standing are for the in case of bushfire I'll just point this out As I said, hopefully we won't have to use them. There won't be any need, but we are in a high risk bushfire area. And under this, if I can see under the tarpaulin, is the pump to run. You can hear the wind is picking up today. You can see the nets over the small orchard over there. We'll come back to the tanks. There was a lot of weeds and grass, so we took those out. And what I've done is I've just planted some aloe vera cuttings, which I had, little offshoots, which should do all right here. I haven't done all along the edge because if the fire, the country fire authority need to get here, um, there's no point in blocking their access. And I'll show you, this is the Country Fire Authority's nozzle if they have to come and they can connect their equipment into it. I believe each water tank now has to have one of those for the obvious reasons. But yeah, not very pretty, but we'll probably, hopefully we'll be glad of them one day or maybe not. Maybe we, hopefully we don't have to depend on them. 24,000 litres and this is a fire hose you can use it as a garden hose but on a much lower pressure but these are you'll see these are scattered about the place as well in strategic spots and different valves for different reasons but uh, you can see the autumn colours now coming into play as well. I have found that the um, there's a little the ground is as hard as nails. I was hoping to plant my roses, this little aloe vera. They should grow very well. Um, roses but quite frankly I'm gonna need a jackhammer I think to dig up the ground but we'll deal with that on another day. I'm doing little steps, little steps, and I just thought I'll show you. Oh, here's George having an inspection. But, uh, I'm just going down the path to give you an idea of the scale. If I can get down as far as I need to. But there they are, two monsters, which hopefully uh, will just prove to be ornamental. Fingers crossed. <laughs> 